Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I hope everybody who is watching this is doing well. This isn't going to be one of our typical videos. However, we are going to allow you to watch the chickens uh, for a little bit while we have a short discussion. I try not to talk about politics on this channel, mainly because that is not what this channel is about. Uh, this channel, I like to, for it to be an escape from our uh, normal reality uh, as a way where you can come in, kind of watch what's going on around here, and, and you know, and kind of escape for a little bit because we all need a, a short escapes from our uh, hectic lifestyles and stuff sometimes. So, you know, I try to leave politics out of it uh, just for that particular reason. Today, I'm going to touch on the border of that just a little bit. I'm not here to endorse any particular candidates, but I do want to stress the importance of going out and voting. Here in America, we have a unique ability that you don't see in a lot of countries, and that is the ability to pick and choose who we want to lead us, depending on our views, our insights, and what we feel is important issues regarding what's going on in our country and our world. This is one of the privileges we have for living in a democratic republic. Now, even though the national tickets are very important, uh, more important is our local tickets. We need to pay uh, very close attention to these. Uh, watch the bonds that they bring up on these uh, ballots. Uh, I know the state of West Virginia, we have a uh, constitutional amendment coming up that I'm very curious as how it's going to play out. Uh, and I'm still not sure how I'm going to vote on it yet. Uh, I got some questions I'm still trying to do some research on on it because I really don't know how I feel about it. And uh, it's coming up as Amendment 1, and it has to do with uh, assisted medical suicide, whether or not that uh, is okay for a doctor to help a patient who is uh, suffering tremendously to be able to uh, medically be induced into a uh, more comfortable uh, demise than uh, letting them play out and suffer. Um, although, uh, you know, I believe it's uh, immoral to kill a person. I also wonder how immoral it is to let somebody sit there and suffer about it. And I also, one of the things I worry about that is how hospice care would be uh, affected if uh, if it's not uh, if it's not allowed because hospice is there to help make patients more comfortable and I wonder uh, how they would act or how negatively it would impact uh, hospice care. Something else that we need to watch on our races uh, that affects us really more than any of our national uh, races do is who's running for our sheriff, county commission, our magistrates. Uh, and normally I would say Board of Education, but I don't know how they do it in your area, but in the state of West Virginia, the Board of Education is uh, done during the primary. You also want to take note of who's running in your uh, state legislature races. Uh, that's where your funding for your uh, local areas come in and your state laws, uh, things that you think might need passed locally. That's where that goes through because it goes through them and your uh, governor. And for those of you who are engaged in farming, small farms or big farms, you also want to pay attention to your agriculture commissioner or whatever the equivalent is in your state. Uh, that's where you get your farming programs come through and uh, they have uh, a little bit to do with uh, funding and stuff for these farms or grants that come through. Uh, so uh, you want somebody who's going to be working hard to uh, keep agriculture going well in your state. Now, I don't care who you're voting for president, whether it's Big Don or the Chameleon. Uh, if you want to protect yourself from the crazy, you really need to pay attention to the congressional races. Uh, the people who we are putting in Congress, uh, they are a safe point to protect us from anything that you feel might not be right that uh, they may try to pass because any law that is passed has uh, to be passed through both houses of Congress. And so that is a safe point between you and whoever 
is elected president. Now, lastly, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for for president. This channel chooses not to endorse any particular person. But I will tell you this. Vote your conscience, vote your heart, and vote for whoever you feel is going to do the better job. Now, as always, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. And if you made it this far through the video, thank you very much. I hope it hasn't been that boring for you. If you would, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button down below. And if you really want to uh, throw me off guard, leave me a comment down below. Let me know uh, uh, where you're uh, listening from. Y'all have a nice day. Thank you.